Hey, last July 2020, GitHub announced its deprecation of user passwords for all Git operations. On August 13, 2021, GitHub will no longer accept passwords when authenticating Git operations. This will, will affect GitHub command lines, any third-party Git applications, except for GitHub desktop, and any custom service that you may have for accessing Git via password. Once GitHub passwords get deprecated, all Git operations that require authentication will require the use of token-based user tokens. In this video, we're going to look on how to create these user tokens. So imagine you have a project and you have some changes that are pending to be committed. If you add them and then commit, and then you try to push them into, into GitHub, GitHub is going to ask you for your username and your password. As it is not August yet, you can still push code using your password authentication. You might receive an email from GitHub saying that you've used a password to access the repository, which it's going to be deprecated soon. That is why we need to create access tokens for your user. To create a user access token on GitHub, we just need to go into your settings, navigate on the left side to developer settings, and then to personal access tokens. Here we're going to create a new token. First, you must provide a token a, descript a descriptive name and then select the permission scope. This will allow you to select which actions can be ex executed using this token. For this example, I'm going to give all my repository permissions, as well as writing packages and deleting packages. When, once you are done giving all the required scope permissions, you press Generate Token. And here's your token. It is important to understand that tokens are like passwords. They shouldn't be shared easily, and you must keep them safe. If one of your tokens get leaked, you can always delete them or revoke them all. And then just start the, proper, the process again by generating a new token. Tokens will be like passwords, so if you have some pending changes to be committed, and then push them into, into your repository, GitHub is going to ask you for your username. And then on the password, instead of, of pasting or typing your login uh, password, you will be past pasting your token that you just created on the previous step. Once the token gets sent, you will see that there is nothing else that you need to do. Token is already in use and you can always push any new code or perform any Git operations as you would do usually. 